In this video, I'll show you how you can add dark mode in any of your Android apps with the simplest way possible. The method is very simple, but it does not mean that you have to compromise with quality. In fact, this works seamlessly. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Go to the build.gradle file. And here make sure your target SDK version is 29. And now open your styles file. And forcing dark mode in your entire application is done by just adding a single line. Force dark allowed and we will have to set this to true. We get this warning because we can use force dark only with Android 10. But your application may run on devices which are not running on Android 10 and they might be running on lower versions of Android. So you can just suppress this warning by pressing Alt Enter, clicking on the suppress. And now this entire application will be forced dark if the device's system level dark mode is on. Now there might be some kind of a need where you don't want to apply forced dark mode to the entire application. Instead, you would want to force dark mode only in certain activities. And for that, what you need to do is remove this force dark allowed from this style element and then copy this entire style element, paste it below it, change the name of this style element. Let's say app theme dot dark mode. And now we can add the force dark allowed item here. And again, suppress the warning. And to implement this style to a specific activity, you will have to open the manifest file. And under the activity tag of the activity, you just have to change the theme to app theme dot dark mode or whatever is the name of your dark mode. But for this example, we want to force dark mode to the entire application. So we can just remove this tag and we can go to the styles file and copy this line, paste it in this style element because this style element is applied to the entire application and then we can just delete this style element. Now go to the activity main.xml file. By the way, in Android Studio 3.6.1, the layout of the layout editor has changed. So if you want to have only this part in your layout editor, then you will need to click on this image icon. And if you want only the text, then you will need this icon. And if you want both, then you are going to need this one. Now this layout has a white background and a text view. And our application has been forced to turn dark if the device's system level dark mode is turned on. So now we can just run the application and see if it is working. Our application does not turn dark because the dark mode at system level is not turned on on this device. So go to the settings. And to turn on dark mode, click on display. And then turn on this switch. Go back to the application and it is working. Now let's see what happens if our background is black in color. So change the background of this constraint layout and change the text color to white. Now run the application. Now you can see that the black background does not turn into a white, which means that Forcing dark mode does not mean changing black to white and white to black. And now turn the background color to white again. And change the background color of this text view to black in color. Give this a padding of 8 dp. And give this an id text view. Now let's run the application and see what happens. Here you can see the white background turns dark, but the text view does not get affected. But let's see for some reasons you want this to turn white and you want the text color to turn black. 
So let's see how that can be achieved. Go to mainactivity.java and here implement the lifecycle method on resume. In this method, we will check if night mode is turned on and if night mode is turned on, then we will change the text color of the text view to black and we will change the background color of the text view to white. So create an integer variable named dark flag. This will be equals to get a resources configuration UI mode and configuration dot UI mode night mask. And if the dark flag is equals to configuration dot UI night, yes, then we will change the text color and the background color of the text view. Create an object of text view class. Refer this to the text view. And then we will have to set force dark allowed to false. Because if we don't do this, then the changes in the text color and the background color will not get reflected. So if you want to change the background color or text color of any item, any view item after enabling force dark mode, then you will have to explicitly set dark allowed to false for that particular view. We are getting this warning because our project has minimum SDK version of 24, but this will only work with Android 10. So you need to press alt enter and surround it with if statement. And now we can change the text color and we will change it to black and we will change the background color to white. Now let's run and see if it works. And this thing is working, but it wouldn't work if we hadn't set this force dark allowed to false. I can show that to you. Let's remove this line and run it again. You can see it doesn't work without that. 